And now it's time for... Where we last left Amelia Earhart, old Adam the Owl had flown away, and you didn't know where. But don't worry, because he did not fly to your house. While you were worrying about that, Amelia Earhart woke up and yawned. It's time for my family reunion! She cried joyously. Indeed, said Archibald Asparagus. I will see you there at 231 sharp. Amelia Earhart brushed her teeth and spent the next 45 seconds determining which hat she should wear. Hmm, she mused. Should I wear this one? Or that one. Yes, agreed Swampfire the alien. Yes, it, it, it all makes sense. It makes sense to me. Soon, Amelia Earhart was on her way. She was driving her 2008 Toyota Kia and humming along merrily to a generic pop tune on the radio. I'm sorry, darling. Just then, the radio DJ interrupted the song to broadcast some important news. I'm interrupting this sweet, sweet jam to bring you some important news. The the radio DJ, whose name was Preston, declared emphatically, It appears that snow is now illegal. This announcement threw the world into chaos. Some places, like Canada and Russia, quickly became busy getting rid of their vast stashes. Other places, like the Bahamas and Panama, were reported as saying, eh? what, what is snow? snow? Can we, Can we be in, be in the, the now? Amelia Earhart kept driving, being sure to dodge each of the snowflakes falling from the sky, and soon arrived at the family reunion. Unfortunately, it was the wrong family reunion. Instead of going to the Earhart family reunion, Amelia Earhart had gone to the Rabbit family reunion, which met in a grassy field. But Amelia Earhart had forgotten her glasses, and so did not notice this, and none of the rabbits realized that Amelia Earhart wasn't a rabbit until 77 years later. Amelia Earhart spent the first 17 and a half minutes of the family reunion chatting with some people she hadn't seen ever. Aunt Rabbit and Uncle Rabbit, Amelia Earhart cried. However have you been? We've been jolly as a trolley, yeah, said Uncle Rabbit. Aunt Rabbit nodded and screamed at the sky in a primal way. Then she smiled. I hope it doesn't rain, she said. That would be the worst thing ever. Get inside, Paul. Even worse than having to eat a banished clam, hollered Cousin Rabbit from across the field. But we're all here, said Grandpa Rabbit. Aren't we? Yes, we are, said Great Grandpa Rabbit. No, we're not, said Great Great Grandpa Rabbit. Where is Great 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 Grandpa Rabbit? Here I am, laughed Great 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 Grandpa Rabbit. Now, let the feast begin. It was a grand feast, and they had food at it. Then everyone sat down to a good old game of Go Fish. In case you didn't know, Go Fish is a popular card game that does not involve extortion. At least, not unless there is a lawyer at the table. Got any threes? Asked first cousin once removed rabbit. Nope. Go Fish, said third cousin twice removed rabbit. Mm, got any tens? Yeah, so tough, got any tens? Ah! Asked fourth cousin rabbit. Nope. Go Fish, said eighth cousin rabbit. Got any twenties? Asked twenty-first cousin rabbit. <laughs> nope. Go Fish, said fifty-sixth cousin rabbit. Then they all realized they didn't actually have any cards with which to play Go Fish, yet somehow they were playing the game anyway. They didn't stop to question this, though, because now it was time for dessert. I baked a cake, announced Great Aunt Rabbit. I made s'mores over a blue fire! <laughs> Gasped Great Great Uncle Rabbit. I cooked cookies, said Ninth Cousin Rabbit. Then begin a great discussion on whether you should say you cooked cookies or baked them. It ended when Bugs Bunny arrived, having been chased there by Elmer Fudd. But both Bunny and Fudd soon fell into a hole and were not seen in those parts for the next 7,000 years. After everyone had eaten and drank and had heard Great Uncle Rabbit tell the tale of how he almost went to the moon when he was young, it was time to say goodbye. Goodbye, said Amelia Earhart. I will see you all next year. Then Amelia Earhart hopped back into her 2007 convertible pickup and revved the engine. Vroom, said the engine. I make cars go far! Gotta go far in car! Yeah! So do I, said every amusement park in the world. As Amelia Earhart drove home, darkness fell across the land. Um, excuse me. Excuse me.
Excuse me, said a disgruntled badger named Morris. I can't finish completing my stamp collection without that light. Oh, sorry, muttered the sun as it turned to shine again on the face of the planet. Is this better? I guess, muttered Morris as he stacked stamps like college textbooks. By the time Amelia Earhart arrived back home, the darkness had risen again like a glassy cloak made of the sharpest silver. I think I feel sick, said Amelia Earhart. <laughs> said the messenger of Affected. <laughs> then there was a flash of swirling chocolatey light, and suddenly it was morning. Good morning, good morning, yelled Superman as he used his great strength to push the sun back into the sky. It's business, as usual. Up, up, and away! Or unusual, said a black hole a million or so miles away. Don't make me laugh. You know it doesn't agree with me. Seethed a tiger named Fox. Then a great battle broke out between Fox and the black hole, and that is a tale for another time. Just then, it was time for lunch. What will you eat for lunch? Find out next time on... Back up.